Well, that means are they learning anything relevant? <laughs> and then in my course, uh, I use a textbook as the basic structure, and I try to select a textbook that is extremely accessible to students online digitally as well as in print version if they want it. Something that's up to date and covers the basics, but I'm only concerned as the textbook as far as a starting point. And I uh, always want my students to go beyond what the textbook says. To, I want them to select topics that they find uh, interesting and, and relevant to their own lives. And then I want them to pursue additional information on those issues. Well, instruct, the instructor uh, provides feedback to students on their, specific, their individual discussion posts. Uh, understand that I use the discussion forum as the primary learning activity in my course. And I think of a discussion forum as a way of delivering content to students, as a way of engaging them in that content, and as a way of assessing their mastery and knowledge of that content. So the discussion forum plays the central piece in the uh, learning uh, paradigm that I employ. So I provide feedback to students, especially early in the course, if they fail to present content that adds new knowledge and relevant knowledge to the discussion that we're having. And uh, as you probably remember from when we worked together, uh, I have two specific requirements that I demand of students when they, when they post a, uh, a discussion response. One is that the message of their post must teach something new and relevant. But secondly, the title of that post has to be an abstract or a summary statement which uh, summarizes the main point they're trying to make. So they really have to be uh, aware of what the point of their post is before they hit the submit button. The rubric itself I use specifically for all discussion activity and all written assignment activity. Uh, the rubric gives a is a implicit contract. I state in advance what I'm looking for in each assignment, the specific criteria, and also how they are graded uh, at each level of expertise, of, of success. And then I use that rubric uh, when I uh, evaluate their success on the assignment. So if they uh, fully understand what the rubric uh, is asking for and comply with each one of the criteria, they are assured of a high grade on the assignment. Uh, the value to the student then is they can self-regulate and govern their own behavior according to the aspirations they have for good grades. The value to the instructor is it makes my life very simple and makes grading fast okay. and efficient. Okay, good. Well, I think realistically don't expect the first time you offer a course to be the best time you're ever going to offer it. Uh, developing skills with online learning are it's an iterative process just like it would be in the classroom and you learn from your failures as much as you do from your successes uh, be very open to suggestions from your students they are after all the learners uh, expect them to do most of the work in the course not the instructor uh, do not enable them by doing the work for them uh, be realistic in your expectations uh, and I think that's probably more than one. <laughs> that was good.